so if you could go back six years <laughs> <laughs> in a time machine oh, more. <laughs> to like, when you first made the decision that I am going to be an artist, what advice would you give yourself? I was pretty demanding with myself, so I'd probably go back and say, do what you did, right? And and maybe do a bit more of it, a bit faster. <laughs> But yeah, you do read a lot, learn a lot, see a lot, find people who can like excite you in terms of the techniques that they use and, and learn from them and and yeah. Yeah. And and what about what advice would you give to somebody who is new coming into the art world? And think about actually um, from a self taught perspective, so somebody who's self taught or wanting yeah. to be self taught, what advice would you give? And then yeah. just general. Yeah. Well, again, it's like complicated because I consider myself partly self-taught and partly not. Yeah. I think that if you go in and you know that you want to be doing a certain thing, then try and find the things that are going to push your practice forward. So if you've got something that you need to learn, for example, a technical language figuration, even if then you break from it completely, I always think that rules are there to be broken, but maybe get to learn them. If it's important for your practice, do it, find it, find the people. And that's why it's like, I'm not really self-taught because I've been lucky to have incredibly generous teachers and, and wonderful people who have taught me things. Um, so yeah, if you're self-taught, do it with a focus on what you want to be doing and, and read the things that are related to what you want to be learning and find the people that can help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.